Alright, today I'm gonna show you my ultimate PvP break fire Teos build. Uh, by following this build, you will have not only a fire tail that hurts, but it also can point damage. And more importantly, it can actually kill people instead of just injure them and annoy them like a fly. So, uh, you'll have 300 M attack from a plus 12 crop or make that 500 not 300 300 from a plus 12 hosu or just a level 140 super hosu since they don't get extra from plus or souls so there's that and then you have a thousand coming from your performer here boom at level 9 um, 2,503 coming from a plus 12 P7 bracelet so you got 1214 from M attack uh, normally and then from the plus damage 1289 and from there we go 7,866 from a plus 12 140 P7 epic backsword 5,367 plus an additional 2,499 and then we'll chi you're gonna have 10k because you're gonna go M attack which gives you 2500 for each full uh, M attack which I know is kind of unrealistic but you'll have around that so it, I'm just saying this for uh, logistics sake uh, then you'll have another 3000 for rank 1 through 3 and then you'll also have 2160 from full Jing epic uh, M attacks except you're gonna have M attack in all stages except nine six five and two everything else needs to be M attack don't don't even have stage one break I have that because my cheese messed up right now so I have to substitute uh, okay and that brings you to a grand total of four th 46,769 M attack without sacrificing your HP or immunity so someone's saying you can't have really good M attack without sacrificing that is obviously not knowing what they are talking about um, cause that's not even, um, counting perfection, nor is it counting inner power. So those are extra, extra M attack that you can get. Um, even if you don't rank your chi, um, and you don't get perfect chi, uh, just take 3,500 off of that. Then that's still, uh, easily 42k, 43k easily. Um, if your stats are a little less then you can still still get still strive for 40k uh, that's 6769 over under the max that you'll be able to get with again without counting inner power chi um, next comes break uh, again you'll be in your break you or in your chi rather you will go break break on all I'm not going to go through why mine's not break on all, but it's basically because those are 99 and I'll be re-rolling re them later at a later time. I'm just, uh, 99. <laughs> it's hard to roll, you know. Uh, plus I need to fix these purple stats before I do that anyway. Um, uh, and then, and then, and then you will get 12% break from your bracelet refinery. That'll be break 10% from your back sword soul. So that P7 is 10 and P4 is 10. So anywhere in around that. Um, another 10% from your boots. I don't have them on this account yet, permed. Uh, this is just a 312 BP account. Uh, that I work on every once in a while because it's a friend's account so I try to keep it up to date as possible for him when I get a chance 
uh, and do his quests and stuff for him. So, uh, anyway, uh, that gives you a total of 107 to 112 break. And that's not counting if you're ranked. Um, and as, let's just assume you'll get top top rank. So that's 122 to 120 percent break, which isn't bad. It may seem low, uh, and it's not gonna break through those anti waters or monks. But let's be honest, no one can. They're usually at 250 or above. So <laughs> you're just gonna have to get BP on them. And, Either way, plus it's not really a fighter's job to kill those classes or to take them down. A fire should be focused on the attackers, honestly. Um, so if you are a fire playing on a team, focus on the attacker. And if they are a counter and you're playing them 1v1, you should be able to jump around them well enough and beat them at points. So... Yeah, I didn't even mention uh, the greatest part about this build and why this build is the best now. It's because you do not need crit and it's hard to crit people as is. Uh, so without either sacrificing your M attack or your HP or immunity for those M strike stages. What you do is you just get your perfection high and you get core strike and there you go. And fires attack so fast and boom 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 core strike boom 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 core strike just like that you don't need to have crit on them or anything it just pops uh same thing with uh what is it uh yeah 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 you know what i'm talking about you know what i'm talking about uh not light of sim uh invisible arrow there we go uh extra penetration which is really good so there's that uh the higher you get this the more chance they get maybe higher percent damage etc uh so perfection is really good on a fire uh i would definitely recommend focusing on your perfection if you plan to do this build it's in my opinion the best build to do at this point i uh, the highest a good king will have for uh, counter is going to be around 70. If you have about 110, uh, you'll have a what 40% chance to break. If you have around 120, that's another 10. So you'll have 50%. And fires, like I said, they attack fast. You won't break every time, but you'll be hidden hard, pointing up much more than a uh, final M attack would do and plus final M attack is dead after a wind walker came out and their reflex skill uh, what's it called revenge tells yeah so even this, this is level 2 if you hit me for anything less than 10k damage then I reflect it reflect it reflect it reflect it those those points that would have been yours are now mine plus reflect on top of that those are more points that are mine. So you see with the difference here. Um, but yeah, uh, that pretty much killed the final M attack build. I mean, some people still do it, but if you run into a wind walker, chances are you're not gonna have a good time. Um, they may not be able to kill you, but they'll definitely be able to probably outpoint you, especially with their XP skill and uh, the combination of burnt frost. So. Good luck to that, any final M attack tails. I'm going to just show you real quick the uh, the break in effect here in some arena matches. So we'll do that. But before I do that, you can go full S Super Phoenix Gym or uh, you can go a mixture with some torts. I'd recommend some torts, probably like 24 to 30%. Uh, any more than that is overkill. Uh, like you see, this is a one... 140 p7 tail over here uh, with good gear and stuff she has 67k HP 67k plus almost 19k defense so she's not gonna need full torch to survive she'll be able to pot that off uh, so yeah when people say tails defenses are weak only if they're built poorly or not very geared yet uh, like you can see the difference. This one's only 
7K, but <laughs> there's a big difference there. It's mostly because of the bag defense. I'm missing a lot there, that P7s, and then also my head gear is only 120, and so yeah. So yeah, that's what your end game tail is going to look like. Those stats right there, that stat right there, that immunity, plus that uh, HP, immunity, HP, then you're going to have 120 break right there around that and then you'll have around 40 to 46 K in attack depending on how how lucky and strong your character is all right so I'm gonna show you those matches real quick to show you a difference again this count only has 26 K and only has some one stock gears <laughs> so uh yeah so it's missing a few super phoenix gems and stuff but all right let's show you that and we'll be off this match right here is a good example of what i was talking about uh right here you have him uh well you'll just see so i do about 6k non-break and then once break kicks in I about double the damage it goes from 6 to 11 uh, so I get about 5k extra damage there so that's pretty good and you'll also see in this match right there core strike see I don't have M strike on him but I do have core strike that happens one or two more times uh, and there's an invisible arrow there so that's what I'm saying with perfection this is the build for fire tail this is the one you want to do you can just keep pointing them and killing them so yeah guys um but i don't know uh what do you think here uh you think this is a good build why or why not versus the other fire tail builds you've heard giving the windwalker development as well as perfection and stuff um let me know in the comments below take care If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Don't forget to check out the last video if you missed it in the newest available video on the channel. Also check out Nick aka NASA and Dennis aka Kai's channels. Thanks everyone. Have a wonderful day.